<laughs> Back at it like a crack at it. What's good with it? What's good with it, you guys? So anyways, well, I should say what's good with it to me because I'm probably the only one that watches my video. I hope a lot of people watch my video. But, uh, you know, I'm just putting, putting videos out there and uh, people watch them, they watch them. But anyways, man, it's a shout out to all y'all out there, man, trying to refinance your car, trying to refinance your house. You need to refinance your life. That's what you need to refinance. You need to re refinance your life. Okay? So in my book that I'm writing, I got a chapter that's called Re, Re Restart. Rebook Restart. It's called Reprogram. Restart Reboot. Something like that, right? Basically what I'm trying to break it down to the analogy is so when I was repairing computers back in the days it was Windows XP we was getting all the Windows 95 towers we was putting Windows XP on it Windows XP professional and Windows XP professional right and you turn the computer on you see, Windows 95 comes on it's running you listen for the hard drive you got to hear if the hard drive is good if it's clicking tick 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 place the hard drive if it's not t -t 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 -t, you know you're gonna you know and then uh then you're gonna replace it if not okay you're gonna power off put the windows xp cd in there and restart right when you restart it you're gonna reprogram when you reprogram the reboot that's what people gotta do in their life man and that's what I did. I've done it multiple times. If you upgrade from 95 to Windows X, X, XP to Windows Vista to, to Windows, uh, 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 man, what they have? No, they have Windows, man, I forgot all them, all them operating systems. Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, and now it's Windows 11. Listen, if Microsoft is continuing to update their system, why aren't you? I do it on a daily basis. Every single day, I listen to motivational videos. Every single day, I listen to financial videos. Every single day, and Eric Thomas, he said it plain and simple. He said, uh, he said uh, Warren Buffett gets up and he reads, he reads a book a day, a week, I don't know, whatever it is. He said, bro, you guys only read a book in a year. Do you know why your life is garbage? It's because you're reading garbage. You're watching garbage. You're intaking garbage. If you believe it or not, you tell a little two-year-old bad cuss words, or he or they hear a bad cuss word, three-year-old, four-year-old, whatever, five-year-old, whatever age you are when you learn how to repeat words, that kid's gonna say it over and over and over. He's taking in garbage, so he's gonna regurgitate garbage. So what do you think that if you listen to this rap song that says, uh, slap a girl, hit a girl, I don't care about a woman, I hit a woman, like slap a woman, I don't care about women. When you get into the argument with your girl, with your woman, your lady, the first thing's gonna pop in your head, subconsciously, forget her. Boom! You listen to music that's talking about uh, 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 shoot a dude, uh, 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 beat up a dude, uh, uh, the op this, the op that, sliding on this, sliding on that, right? The first time you get into a road rage uh, 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 incident, first time you, you, you're you at a, a restaurant or in the public and someone steps on your shoes, the first thing is get sub, uh, subconsciously in your head, boom! Then wig out. Tell me this. Why do you wait for your marriage to be in shambles? Why do you wait to where is the breaking point where 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 where, where your wife is like, we gotta, you know, I want a divorce. And you're like, oh, let's go. What, God, what did I do? What did I do? Oh my God. Oh, let's go to marriage counseling. Bro, I tell people this. You need to go to marriage counseling be before you get married. Wow, you're married the whole time. At least once a year, you need to go in there and take relationship classes, how to make your significant other happy, communication uh, classes, 
uh, 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 all that. You guys need to. You need to. It's a a relationship is a continuous uphill battle. It's not something where you get married and you think you're gonna live happily ever after. You need to re. You need to refinance your your marriage. You need to refinance your career. You need to refinance your education. You need to refinance everything in your life. Every self-development, your the gym, refinance your, your gym roots. You need to refinance everything. You need to reprogram, reboot, restart. Come on, man. It's time to put paint where it ain't, bro. I'm telling you right now. If I can do it, you can do it. There's no reason why you're not doing it. You probably are smarter than me. You probably have way more. Uh, uh, you probably were born with way more, you know, privileges than me. You probably were. You probably had a, you know, you probably had a lot of stuff going on. And if you didn't, you know, I was listening to the dude today. He was like, yeah, I was straight. I'm a minority. I came to this country. Uh, uh, um, I was beat as a child. Like, he had every excuse in the book, and he still got millions. So excuses are useless. But at the end of the day, listen, it's plain and simple, man. You so worried about refinancing your house and getting a good interest rate, man. You need to refinance your life. Everything else will fall, fall into sequence. Come on, man. Refinance that, man. Refinance it, bro. Every day you got to refinance it. Reprogram, reboot, restart. Deuces, I'm out.